Hi, my name is Leif Dixon. I'm the Director of Studies for History at Regent's Park College and University of Oxford. And welcome to one of Oxford's best kept secrets. If you are interested in studying um, um, history at an elite institution, you um, may well wish to consider three reasons why Regent's Park would be an excellent place to apply. First of all, um, we are extremely academically successful. Um, our rate of first for history is um, significantly higher than the average for, for most colleges. Secondly, our cohort is unusually diverse. 80% uh, plus of our undergraduate students in history come from state school backgrounds and over a third come from widening participation backgrounds. Um, and thirdly, I think that it's really important to uh, think about the kind of environment you want to work in. So some colleges kind of operate as kind of pressure cookers and are quite competitive. Um, we're very, very inclusive, very pastorally focused, very supportive. Our mentality is that no one should be left behind. We bring everybody's skill set up and we try to uh, encourage you to perform to the absolute best of your abilities rather than um, some sort of um, mythical ideal that we've um, we've sort of set up um, in our own minds, and that, um, very few colleges combine all three of those things. So, what are the secrets to our success? Well, first of all, it's the students themselves. We um, are committed in our admissions process to um, taking extremely talented um, applicants. Looking at people who uh, we see in three years' time becoming um, great historians capable of getting first class results, but not necessarily who are the finished product right now, people who are a bit rough around the edges, perhaps. We also look for people who are kind of team players. And what's really important uh, to our success is having a kind of tight knit, supportive um, cohort. Um, secondly, it's the college itself. So we're an interdisciplinary college. Um, we, we've, we're focused on humanities and social sciences. And I really try and embrace that in our history setup. Um, we, we take a lot of joint schools um, 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 students. Um, we have about nine places in total each year. And we take and we and we offer places in history and politics, history and economics, um, history and English. And one of the great things about the college is that um, you can always talk to somebody about kind of what you're doing, but um, they'll maybe looking at the same stuff from a different perspective. Um, so you can talk perhaps to a politics student or to a theology student or to a classicist about the stuff that you're doing um, right now. And I think that that is um, uh, really helpful and it encourages everybody to buy into this mentality of kind of learning together. And thirdly, it's that we have, a, I think, a really high quality teaching setup. Um, we, um, you know, I think we're quite creative, uh, we're extremely energetic, and uh, we're constantly focused on improving what we're doing, taking on um, students' feedback, um, very pastoral in our emphasis. And, you know, um, I would modestly add, or perhaps immodestly add, that um, our two in-house tutors, myself and our medievalist, Dr. Daniel Gerrard, have won um, teaching awards at the um, uh, uh, which have been um, um, organised by the Oxford University Student Union and have both been nominated on, on other occasions as well. Um, so I think that's a sort of a fantastic setup for um, the students to come into, especially those who aren't perhaps um, terribly used to um, uh, the whole kind of Oxbridge thing and maybe find it a bit intimidating. Um, so if that sounds interesting to you and that you might, and if you might like to, in uh, to join this sort of exciting and really high quality uh, community of historians, then please do visit us at our open day and I look forward to um, talking to you then. Cheers.